In a first, scientists in Italy have made a humanoid robot fly. Yes, fly. Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics, where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Meet Iron Cube 3, a jet-powered robot developed by the Italian Institute of Technology. This isn't just a cool stunt. Making it fly is a major step towards robots that can walk and fly in real-world conditions. Powered by four mini-jet engines, two on its arms and two on its back, Iron Cube 3 recently lifted off the ground by about 50 cm while staying stable thanks to cutting-edge AI, advanced control systems and careful design. Flying robots aren't new, but flying humanoid robots are a different beast altogether. Unlike drones, Iron Cube 3 has a human-like shape, movable limbs, and a shifting center of gravity, which makes staying upright in midair a serious challenge. But after two years of engineering, wind tunnel tests, and AI modeling, the team has made it happen. The goal is to one day send robots like this into disaster zones or dangerous areas, anywhere that humans cannot safely go. Next up, we have a USC-led team which built supercomputer simulated twins of our Milky Way galaxy to help solve one of the universe's biggest puzzles, dark matter. Three papers in the Astrophysical Journal describe the findings. Dark matter is this mysterious substance which is invisible to telescopes but makes up about 85% of all matter and holds our galaxies together. The project is called COSMIC and it lets scientists test new ideas about how dark matter behaves by simulating galaxies under different physical laws. Until now, most simulations of galaxies did not account for how dark matter might interact with normal matter. COSMIC changes that. It explores several possibilities, from dark matter that bumps into regular particles like billiard balls to versions that interact with themselves. By comparing these simulations to real galaxies, the team hopes to figure out which version of dark matter best matches our universe. It's a major step in understanding this elusive substance and could finally bring scientists closer to answering the question, what is dark matter? Next, a new global climate report by the Indicators of Global Climate Change Initiative shows that we are running out of time to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial level. At current emission rates, the world could burn through its remaining carbon budget for 1.5 degrees Celsius in just over three years. In 2024, global temperatures rose to 1.52 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, with nearly all of it caused by human activities like burning fossil fuels and deforestation. The study adds sea level rise and land precipitation to its climate tracking and it finds rapid changes. Oceans are hotter than ever, sea levels are rising faster, and warming is accelerating. Even international aviation emissions are back to how they were in pre-pandemic times. Experts say that climate is heating at double the rate that it was in the late 20th century. To slow this, emissions must fall fast. This research will be presented at the Bonn Climate Conference in Germany. Finally, a team of scientists from the Spanish National Research Council has discovered that when ancient marine worms moved on to land around 200 million years ago, they did not evolve slowly. They completely rewired their DNA in a dramatic leap. Their genomes broke apart and reassembled almost overnight. Okay, not literally overnight, but in a very short evolutionary period of time. This challenges the classical Darwinian idea of slow and gradual evolution. It also supports a 1973 theory of punctuated equilibrium, which says that evolution can happen in sudden bursts after long periods of stability. By sequencing worm genomes at a high level of detail, researchers found these huge random rearrangements that help these creatures adapt to land, possibly by allowing them to breathe air or handle sunlight. What's wild is that these massive changes would normally cause chaos or diseases like cancer, but these worms somehow survived and also thrived. The findings suggest that flexible genomes 
might be an evolutionary superpower and that big leaps, not just baby steps, may have shaped life on Earth more than we thought before. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into The Print.